Hello students, welcome back. I am Professor Preeti Shivuthi brought you on another exciting topic of basic electrical and electronics engineering. We are discussing about the different concept related to DC machines and today's topic of discussion is a DC series motor. Motor is a DC machine. Now, what is uh, DC series motor? We already discussed. We already had a detailed discussion of a DC series motor. Then what we are going to discuss in today's session? See, we already discussed about an equivalent circuit of armature and equivalent circuit of a field winding. Today, we will put that particular knowledge together to find out an equivalent circuit of DC series motor and DC shunt motor. And then we are going to club that particular knowledge along with an derived equation of a EB back EMF. Can you recall? We discussed about an equation of a back EMF. We will put entire this knowledge together and for an equations that we will be needing to solve a numerical related to DC series and DC shunt motor. Okay, let's start. First of all, very first question arises in the mind is what is DC series motor? See, there are two windings in case of any motor. One winding which act as a magnet and another winding which act as a conductor, right? So, this is an armature of a DC shunt motor and this winding shown over here is nothing but a field winding. This field winding act as a magnet and this particular winding act as a rotating part or other conductor. Now, do we know the equivalent circuit of a armature? Yes, we already know. Let me draw that equivalent circuit. See, the very first component of equivalent circuit is VB. VB is nothing but brush losses. As we already know the construction of a DC motor and DC generator, we are using a brushes that is made up of a graphite. Graphite is not a pure conductor of electricity. So some voltage will get dropped across and brushes. So that particular voltage is represented in the form of VB. But try to understand VB is very low. Practically it is almost equivalent to 1 volt. So that's why we can ignore this particular loss because if our generator is about to generate a voltage in kilovolt like 1000 kilovolt or 1 uh, 100 kilo volt in that case one volt is significantly lower than what we have as an output voltage so in many cases you will find that vb is ignored but we are going to show a complete circuit over here so we will include it then second component over here is ra as this is an armature so equivalent resistance of armature is ra so ra is an equivalent armature resistor then next one is an eb eb is nothing but a back emf now please note one thing very carefully that the polarities of vb and eb are same right means they are in series so this is an equivalent circuit of a armature now let me draw an equivalent circuit of a field winding so in case of a field winding the equivalent circuit is just one register with the name rf that is field winding resistance because there is no such a concept of brushed losses or back emf right so it is just a magnet and whatever and resistive nature of a magnet that is nothing but equivalent so, uh, we can say resistance now if v volt is applied across that particular power uh, motor v is a voltage applied across a motor then this is the complete circuit of a motor equivalent circuit now let me derive an equation of this particular circuit first of all voltage applied over here is positive this is negative how i decided because back emf is always always opposing to the job of, or laws of its uh, or cause of its generation who said that it is the definition of a lens law lens law say that back emf or emf generated always opposes the cause of its generation so v is the cause of a generation of a eb and that's why eb opposes it so this is the polarity of a uh, we can say uh, vb voltage drop and if you can see this is positive terminal this is negative terminal so definitely the current ia is gonna flow in this direction because current always perform positive terminal to negative terminal that's why voltage drop across rf will be positive negative like this and ra will be positive negative like this right now can i apply an kvl over here yes definitely let's start from this particular point and go in anti-clockwise direction so kvl will be something like this minus i a r f why because voltage is drop that's why i included a minus sign then over here plus to minus means what voltage will drop so that's why minus vb then next is plus to minus minus r a i a right then next is minus e b then is equal to or rather minus you see over here minus to plus means voltage is right plus v equal to zero right now let's transfer all other entities on right hand side v is equal to i a r a plus i a r f plus e b so this is an voltage equation of a dc series motor don't forget that we already had an equation of ab eb is equal to p phi n z divided by 60 a so this is a second equation related to dc series motor right so this is very important now one another important concept that i would like to elaborate over here in this particular circuit there is only one current i 
and that's why total current of circuit i is equal to current i a is equal to i f means what i f is a current flowing through field winding you can see that this is the field winding current flowing through field winding is i f current flowing through armature is i a and current flowing through a overall circuit is i so in case of a dc series motor i is equal to i a is equal to i f so these are the three main equation that we will be needing to solve any numerical related to dc series motor so this is about what are the different equations related to dc series motor right now let's proceed and discuss about dc shunt motor but that we will discuss in a next video till then please enjoy this session and in case of any query feel free to contact me till then thank you